Good morning everyone and welcome back to day 12 of the Pennine Way adventure and last night's sleep was very good actually uh, managed to get done editing for a reasonably early 11 p.m. Um, but yeah feel well, well a little I can't even talk that's one cup of coffee for you yeah I feel really well refreshed uh, this morning um, and ready for another day on the Pennine Way so the walk today is Alston to Greenhead and it's around about 15 or 16 miles we never can be sure with these distances <laughs> right it's going to be a good day I'm not quite sure what we're going to pass along the way so it'll be as much of a surprise for me as it will be for you at home um, the accommodation last night was was great uh, it was budget so you go in with a, a level of expectation but the lady that was running it the uh, Chinese lady that was running it was absolutely amazing really funny um, so uh, welcoming and she just couldn't do enough to uh, make sure I was comfortable and enjoyed my stay the uh, room was reminiscent of you've seen the film Big where Josh Baskin goes to the city it was reminiscent of that <laughs> it was quite lively in the bar last night but I didn't mind I was editing until gone 11 when the place shut anyway so we're all good right on a final note before we get going the donations page has taken off more than I could possibly uh, have expected so a huge thank you to everyone that's given those donations however large or small every last one of them's appreciated um, let's not make it all about me this selfish trek along the Pennine Way um, it's about trying to help people let's do this just been speaking to a really funny farmer back there um, great guy um, he's from Bellingham I was going to call it Bellingham because that's how it looks but yeah, I'll just double check my pronunciation on the places that I'm coming to. Burness. I always thought it was Byerness, because that's how it looks. Um, yeah, so we're good to go on the pronunciation front. I've got local advice. I need to stop a minute. I've just checked the, uh, the fundraising page because I've had an email saying that someone's made a donation. Um, quite a few have come through this morning since the video went live. It went live at 6am and it's just increased since, since yesterday so much. The page has been live less than 20, well just over 24 hours and the target has been smashed already. I initially thought well if we can raise just like 200 quid that'd be great and I thought well no we'll set the, uh, the aim higher and I bumped it to 500 quid and we broke that already in just over 24 hours you're all amazing there's been some big donations but like I say any donation is greatly appreciated but to the guys that have done the big ones honestly I am absolutely stuck in between these two bits of wood because <laughs> my rucksack's too big yeah I'm speechless honestly I'm gonna use the word um, fantastic. I owe you all a hobnob. <laughs> I went a little bit off route there. I was uh, too busy recording a bit of a story for Instagram and Facebook um, talking about the Just Giving page and I just went totally off track. <laughs> so I'm back through the bogs and we're on course again. I was thinking over breakfast this morning that we should run some sort of competition when the video series is finished. Um, you know like they do like say a village fete or something like that where they've got a jar of sweets and you've got to guess how many there are in there. We should do guess how many sheep were in the video. <laughs> we're in the entire Pennine Way video series. It's got to be into the tens of thousands already. But you know what? This there's probably some Google algorithm uh, counting everything like that anyway, so you could probably, they could probably tell us. They know everything else. Welcome everybody to Epiarchum, in brackets Whitley Castle, a Roman settlement built 
to control the mining of lead and silver. So that's an artist's impression. This is an aerial view of today and this is an actual view from what I'm seeing now. And apparently the hill just there is Kip Law. I knew we'd see some things along the way. It really is amazing what's come and gone over the years. Perhaps my favourite period in history, it's probably the Industrial Revolution, that sort of um, era. But um, we're going to see some great sights tomorrow. Quite looking forward to getting to Steel Rig and also Sycamore Gap. The path's been particularly tricky to follow today. Time for a spring clean, I think. That'll do. I've still got yesterday's coffee in the uh, Chili's flask and it's still warm. Some uh, 26 or so hours later. Well, that's the spring clean of the trail shoes uh, now rendered pointless. <laughs> People have been asking in the comments as well why I've chosen trail shoes over boots. I always used to be a massive boot advocate, leather boots, never had a problem really, but I knew that along the Pennine Way it was going to get really boggy. If you get your boots wet, unless you've got some really good drying rooms along the way, they're going to be wet for days. Whereas trail shoes, these will be dry in five minutes. It's all good. Nice little viaduct here on the Tyndale Railway. Feels very autumnal today. It's great down by the river here, the South Tyne. It's um, not quite lunchtime yet, but it'd be the perfect place to stop and watch the water flow past for a while. I'm on the right hand side today, people, walking into the flow of traffic. My supplies are good today, but that'll be handy to know on the little Methodist church here in Slaggy Furred. Another great viaduct. Do you know what? I think we'll stop for lunch. I'll just turn off Bob Dylan. <laughs> that's the soundtrack of today at the moment. Yeah, that's a nice convenient looking rock there. This really was a perfect little spot for lunch. Apart from the mid just trying to feast on me, but it's all good. One for the road, I think. All right, maybe two for the road. Let's keep moving. Looks like I might have my first views of the location of Hadrian's Wall. There's a bit of a ridge in the centre there. I'll just point to it now, just there. And Hadrian's Wall runs along that. I'm following the course of an old Roman road at the moment. And you can see why they wore sandals. <laughs> It's very boggy. <laughs> Would have been great to have seen what it looked like back then. Yeah, back in it. This is the life though, folks. Plowing through bog. And you know what? There's no place I would rather be. <laughs> 
keep your beach holidays, keep your two weeks in the sun, give me bog up to the knees and sunburn on the back of my legs because I didn't wear sun cream yesterday. <laughs> right in the distance there, I can see the listening towers that we passed yesterday. Seems like a lifetime ago already. Back to the bog. It's been a very boggy day today. I don't mind that. Um, on sections like this, you've just got to embrace the bog. That's why I said trail shoes uh, were the one for me earlier on today. I think if you were trying to keep your feet dry, you'd be walking some serious distances, snaking around either side of the bogs, but you waste so much time that way. I know that once we do get to a dry bit, they will dry out quite quickly, but I'm actually quite enjoying it. Just embrace it, come on. <laughs> really had to get the uh, GPS out on this one. The path just went down to nothing at one point and as you can see we're heading across like featureless moorland. Um, the path that I was following on the uh, on the map it was leading away from the Pennine Way so it just looked like a sheep track and then I don't think I've actually managed to find the official track but I'm on it on the uh, on the uh, map on view ranger so oh is this it that might be it <laughs> let's do it as I said yesterday um, there would have been no way of following this uh, section of the route today um, without map and compass or a view ranger style app or a GPS uh, device it's quite tricky this one. It's been fairly hard going today. I thought, because I didn't really know what was along the way, I thought it might be rather uneventful and just a bit of a hop to get back to the good stuff at um, Hadrian's Wall. But it's been quite interesting simply because it's been like, well, featureless in a way. <laughs> now there's been a lot of ups and downs today, climbing out of farmland and then over moorland. Looks like we've got one more bit of a roller coaster over this morning coming up here and then we'll be dropping down to Greenhead. I'm very pleased that um, Dale just sent me a message. Once again his itinerary matches up with mine so I think he's going to join me tomorrow for a small walk of probably about 10 miles and then 10 miles back so 20 for him. <laughs> Always comforting when we can see that little yellow acorn. White even. <laughs> <laughs> that was a particularly deep section. <laughs> Went into just below the knee there. <laughs> it's been a crazy like um, hour or so across these moors. Um, we thought the dreaded bogs of bulls were bad, but um, not quite sure what to call these ones. Without looking at the map, I don't know where they are. <laughs> but there's a gate and style there, so we're going to head over that way. The uh, dreaded bogs of bows were boggy, but at least you could see where you were going and where you were heading to. These ones, it's just a little bit featureless. I'll be ready for that shower tonight. If I find a river, I'm gonna throw myself in. But the most important thing is, I'm feeling all right. We're not doing bad. Not that much further to Greenhead now, so I might see how far around I can get, because Dale's gonna meet me tomorrow. The emotional support crew, Lisa, AKA, um, she's come up for a bit of a holiday tonight. There's no logistical runs or anything like that, so I'm classing it as a holiday. Um, she offered, so... <laughs> oh, 
she'll be uh, checking into the accommodation shortly, I imagine. And uh, I'll see you when I get to Greenhead. Hey, we're coming off the moors. Back into farmland that'll just be muddy rather than boggy. This is all right for a bit. <laughs> Ow, ow, ow. I didn't want the skin on my legs anyway. Just on the opposite side of the valley there, we can see the, the start, the, the, the bank, the grassy bank where those cows are, and that's Hadrian's Wall. We'll be following that tomorrow. But most importantly, Lisa's there. Here we are. And here she is. <laughs> Here we are at the Airbnb and there go the socks in the washing machine. Oh. <laughs> Lisa, Disgusting. good to see you. Yeah. Do I smell bad? No, you don't smell too bad. <laughs> That's all right then. It's not too bad. When I got in the car, she's like, your feet don't smell very nice. And but I didn't think they smelled that bad. Or oh. I couldn't smell them, to be honest. I probably got used to them now. I smell your shoes. Right, I'm going to debog myself in the shower and then we're going to head out for food and we're back so we went out for something to eat washing's done files have transferred to the phone and i've edited it took so long to transfer the files again tonight i tried the usb-c thing from the phone to the camera and i couldn't get it to work so i think i need to do some more googling right Tomorrow's walk is going to be excellent. It's going to be Hadrian's Wall. It's going to be a long one, 21 miles. Dale's going to meet us in the morning and it's going to be a great day. I can guarantee that. Right, as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you tomorrow.